and we know your name. Um, but uh, just tell me about um, the event itself, uh, how it got started. Well, about uh, two or three months ago, uh, David Danico from Big B Coffee and Rick Stathicus approached me about doing a community event, a community run at Christmas time, and doing it with like a fundraiser for somebody that could benefit from it. And I said, I'm in the Lions Club. We do our food basket program, which is the day before. Let's do that. And that started it. And uh, what kind of sponsorships do you have? I know there's a lot. Well, people just sponsor in different ways. Uh, my company, Creative Technology, along with Big B, um, companies like AEW uh, and other organizations and Hanson's and so on, all contributed directly or indirectly either by supplying people or timing or doing the, the course layout, stuff like that. So you had quite a mixture of people helping out, even Parks and Rec with Joe Youngblood and Mike from his group. Glenn Wynn helped us with the layout. AEW did a lot to help us out. It's just everybody pitched in in the community and everybody kind of helped us make this a success. And uh, what, uh, tell me the course or how it, where the well, course went. Well, we wanted to do a course that took in the beauty of the township because we wanted to showcase the township in addition to helping a big community uh, event type thing. So we laid it out so that we wouldn't be on the road very much. So we just crossed Van Dyke and we hooked around Shelby Junior High. And then we picked up the uh, soccer field and we and we did the golf course. We wanted to get on Cherry Creek. And Dave from Cherry Creek and his staff were wonderful to work with as well. So we did a big loop, on, a big left turn into Cherry, into Cherry Creek and we did a little loop around May Stecker and then we came back. And uh, what do you think about this event as first or uh, first time event? First time events traditionally draw 50, maybe 75 people. We were hoping for 75. And we got blown away. We were well over 200 people which is just unbelievable for a first time race. I, I just, I can't believe it. And um, what, what do you, like, what do you personally get, in, get out of um, the event? Well, I've been running for 45 years and I love to run. I love to promote the sport and I get to work with a lot of the people in the running community. Uh, but equally important, I'm in the Shelby Lions Club and proud of it. And you figure probably $2,000, probably more is gonna go back to the uh, Lions Club, which is just awesome. That's part of what this is for. And it's nice because we did the race today that helps what we did yesterday where we fed 84 families. And um, what was that event like? That was quite an amazing thing. Uh, this year I had a lot of families and special groups and smaller kids that they're trying to get into community service that came out. Um, we had our big giant conveyor belt set up at Superior Escape like we do every year. And um, you know, it was just an amazing thing yesterday. And then knowing that we had this event today, kind of go together. They kind of fit together nicely this year. And, um, anything else? Um, well, um, thanks go David Danico, Rick Staphicus, uh, Joe Burns, Fast Bob Buskwart from the Hanson team known as Fast Bob. We're the main players in this and helped, and they were the big ones that I say thank you to. It was really a team effort. We all pitched in, uh, you know, Joe Youngbud and his staff. From ESPN or? Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, the next best thing, I guess. Oh, really? Welcome runners to the first annual Big B Coffee Jingle Bell Run, uh, supporting the Welcome everybody. Wow, 200 plus first year. Thank you very much. The Lions Club ultimately are the ones that benefit and that's fantastic. We fed 84 families yesterday, so that was great. 
Thanks to everybody for coming out, to David Danico and Rick Stathakis for suggesting this race in the first place. We've got to thank our police department and the fire department are here. Um, the great coverage from Don Chamberlain from The Source did a great job for us. Um, I want you to go out and recognize the sponsors. Uh, we had a lot of people help us with this race and I can't thank you all enough for that. We'll have awards afterwards here at Big B Coffee. We have a bunch of raffle prizes, so make sure you come out for that as well. Um, and again, thanks to so many people that helped out with this race, and uh, I'll try to cover more of them later on. Real quick thing on the race course. When we go down here, you're going hit, to hit the Van Dyke and make a left, and you're going to go right up to the light where the library and make a right and just follow the trail. It's well marked. It goes back along Shelby Junior High across the soccer field. You'll be on the golf course for an out and make a left, and you do a little loop around May Stecker and you come back. It's a beautiful course. Uh, we want you to all go out and have fun, the walkers and the runners. Um, and we'll talk to you afterwards. We'll get all our, our uh, sponsors recognized a little bit later as well. The National Anthem. We're now picture too.
All set. All set. Well, today's the big day. We're able to write a check for, to the Shelby Township Lions for $2,000. Uh, on behalf of Big B Coffee, all of the sponsors, the community, and the running community. Good job, guys. Good job, gentlemen. 29.47. Good job. Good job, guys. 29.51. Nice smile, miss. Straight that way, okay, bud? Go. It's 30-50. It's around the building there. Two quick turns, 47. Two quick turns. Oh, nice job, nice job. Yeah, nice job. Yeah, no care. Oh, man. Good job, good job. He's straight. Okay. All right, 48, you can still take him. Two quick turns, one, two quick turns. Good job, one, 40. I saw you and Don Chamberlain ran too. We never we were expecting 50 to 75 people. Really? That's all we were expecting. We so talked about it from Raven to Terry. And the last <laughs> you got it. You need that. <laughs> got to have that water. It's a lot of fun. Great day for running. <laughs> okay. 